we got? It's Maz. If you can't see it, it's probably Maz. Get him. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoa, I slipped out of there. Time that right, but maybe this. There we go, got it. Hey there, it's Adam K. Swimming Bird, and welcome to Splatoon 2 on the Nintendo Switch. A brand new type of weapon has been released, the Splatbrella, and I'm really excited to try it out. It unlocks at level 9, so we can go grab it. If I had enough money, I am 2,000 G short of purchasing my very own Deadly Umbrella. So, just like with anything, you don't have enough money to get it, what do you do? Go work and try to earn it. So we're gonna jump into some Salmon Run. And the weapon set here, this should be interesting. We have a lot of short range weapons. The Tri Slosher, Carbon Roller, and the Dapple Dooleys, which I haven't tried yet. They have increased mobility and damage at the cost of less range. And I don't think their dodge rolls go as far either, but we're gonna find out. And then on top of that, the Heavy Splatling is gonna be so important to this set because otherwise we won't be able to take down some of the bosses that are farther away and uh, a little tougher at that range. So we've got the tri slosher ever popular in the game right now, and uh, it doesn't have the ink armor in here, so it's not quite as useful, but we'll see how it goes. We got a drizzler right off the bat. Let's see if I can line myself up if they're gonna fire this way, and then I can at least get rid of that, if not launch it into him. It's a little too far and uh, the angle wasn't quite right. Let's try to take him out. We had one ink storm, unfortunately, but sometimes it goes that way. As long as he's dead, then we don't have to worry so much. I got the bomb rush special. Ooh, there's another one over here. Can I time this right? And ooh, where'd it go? Ah, hit the wrong side. <laughs> I expected it to pop up over the ledge, but it didn't quite make it there. Grab this, yeah. So this is, so far, pretty good. I do like these, I'm, I'm a brush player at heart, so the tri slosher kind of fits that. You gotta get in close and do a ton of damage at short range. And my team seems to be doing pretty well so far. No worries from this group. I don't know how it's going to play out when we get the dualies, though, because I'm a little worried with some of these enemies. Trying to get them with the dualies is going to be a little rough. Now, the uh, speaking of Salmon Run with the Brella, I'm excited to see when that gets in the rotation here, because it's going to be interesting how that plays out. I think the shield ability of the Brella is going to be kind of good to, uh, to block certain things, but of course, the Stingray... It, from the stinger is not gonna work out so hot because it is didn't time that quite right. Ooh, and the other bomb went up the elevator. Hey, get back here. I don't have enough time to uh, to get my bomb ready for this guy. I should probably just lure him back towards the elevator to make it easier. We don't have time to actually get him. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoa, I slipped out of there. I spent too much time thinking about what to do and not enough time getting the eggs back. And I think I, yeah, I missed that opportunity. We're getting warmed up though. I was like, oh, look at all these eggs. Not keeping an eye on the counter. That is so important. All right, we got the Dapple Dooleys. Okay, so these are very high fire rate. I think even a little bit more than the normal one, but they do do more damage. I just have to get very, very close. And the dodge roll here, let's see, pretty short. I don't know if it's actually much shorter than the normal though, so probably not a problem. Let's get that in there. I think it might have hit something else, but at least it didn't fire off and uh, kill us all. There we go. All right, they're good. Get in here quick. Try to keep these guys off the eggs. As the short-range firing guy, I need to be uh, focused on that. Get that out of here. Making sure the ink storm is not going to be uh, a big problem is also a big part of fighting this guy. Ooh. Oh man, so much going on. I gotta get this egg back though. Hopefully they'll be able to survive long enough. There's one person knocked out. <laughs> Tried to get to ya. Ooh, he's stuck behind the steelhead. You, ever, you okay, buddy? I gotcha. Get out of there. This might be a good time. No, I was gonna say bomb rush, maybe, but not when we had. He had so short range. Could not get over there and uh, time that right, but maybe this. There we go, got it. Okay. Yeah, timing the roll to get your focused fire is such a big thing with the dualies, and the dapple dualies are gonna have to rely on that a lot because, or you know, very, very precise timing with that if you want to actually have it work. Because otherwise, ooh, we need one more. Oh no, it might be good to try to get this guy out of here because it's pretty easy to take down. We just have 15 seconds. If we can get one back, oh, there's a bunch over here. Okay, we should be good as long as we avoid getting tenta missile by that fly fish, wherever it is. There it is. It's okay. We should be fine. Knock one of those trash bins off just to show him that we don't appreciate him coming around here. <laughs> okay. 
Final wave. Let's see what we got if it's the Splatling. Oh no, okay. So yeah, you really have to rely on your teammates so much in this, even more so when one of them has the main weapon for taking down bosses. So if someone's not used to using the Splatlings, then uh, they might not be as reliable. Getting rid of some things like the steel head and other, yeah. Get around the back of him. He's stopping him. Here we go. Oh no, this is not good though. We got another one over here. All right, we're doing fine. Hey, somebody will get it. I gotta get this egg back quick, quick, quick. They think they're doing fine. Everyone's alive, that's a good sign. <laughs> okay, Whoa. get back into it. There's so many eggs here. So I can kind of roll over with the carbon roller. It's not as easy as the normal. But it'll uh, it'll work. Just a couple of taps will will do it. It doesn't have that instant squish crush ability like the normal one. But it's still fine. Carbon probably the closest to my brush in terms of how it's played. But I've never really rocked to it. I don't know why. Here we go. Somebody might have gotten taken out there. I'm trying to defend these eggs because these are pretty easy eggs right here if we can keep them going. I do have my uh, my bomb rush still. Didn't throw that quite right. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Man, unsquitted. And kitted when I should have, shouldn't have. Ooh. Man, this is getting a little, a little crazy here. Just as long as we keep enough of these to survive, then it's down to just avoiding the stingray. From the stinger, where is it? Ooh, it's a fly fish. Can I get one in there? Oh, we both went for the same one, unfortunately. Keeping that guy out of here would be good. This is definitely the time to use my bomb rush and uh, get it going here to try to get that guy out. Ooh. Ah, man. I don't think I, I got one. Oh no, quick, quick, quick. We got a bunch of eggs here, we're fast. Get that last one, buddy. Somebody down there though, that needs help. I gotcha. Even if it's after the round's over, I still, you know, you still want to help your buddy. I think you do actually get points for uh, reviving your, your friends. It's not just a statistic and uh, just a way to keep your team alive. Okay, not too shabby. How much money did we earn? It might be enough from one shift to get me by just to get that brella. <laughs> but yeah, any any extra cash is gonna be appreciated because there's a lot of weapons to try out, not just the brella. Okay, we barely got top of the team for power eggs and we're going up. Not enough to get a reward though. Okay, let's do another round. I really love the headlamp helmet that we just got in Salmon Run. I'm trying to think of uh, sets of gear to, uh, to get now that I've got my Super Sea Snails so I can expand slots and get more abilities. And I'm thinking maybe I'll have, you know, one of the headset sort of more casual style gear sets and then make one maybe a little more like work themed, like the Salmon Run gear, because I have that helmet that I like, so got to work on that. Oh no, oh my gosh. <laughs> well, all right, where's the enemy? Because at least I can take one thing down with this. Man, that happens occasionally where you tap in a stick because you're trying to turn around. Hopefully other people have had that happen. I've seen other people say, so I don't feel too bad that uh, they've had that happen before, but we'll be okay. I'll make it work. I didn't even need my bomb rushes last time. We were doing well enough where it wasn't a big deal, but we do have high tides, so this is <laughs> it's gonna be claustrophobic. I'm excited to, uh, to see what new maps we're gonna get here. A little late on that. In Salmon Run, I do like this one better of the two, just because, especially on high tide, I think we got a little more wiggle room here. Not as many grates to fall through, and uh, just not not as uh, rough goings. The spawning grounds really have such a, a tough time when you have high tide, especially because there's so many areas with grates. You get a fly fish off in the side of the map. There's uh, not a good chance that your team is going to be able to take that out in time to uh, actually not die and get wiped by the Tenta Missiles. Okay, we're doing good on eggs. Let's keep these bosses off of us. I'm gonna have a tougher time taking this guy out, but good, we got a, we got a nice heavy splatling that knows what they're doing. Try to launch this back at him. Ah, man, if you get other, other little uh, chums and Kohawk and stuff in the way, you're not always gonna be able to launch it in the right direction. And I try to do that if I can, but you know, Honestly, it's not always going to work out that way where you can line it up just right. If, at the very least, if there's other things around, it'll take those out instead. And we're doing good on eggs. We have ample, so I wasn't too worried about that. But yeah, not always going to be the case where you're able to use the ideal strat in the, in the situation. I should mention there are things that I had heard 
early on in Salmon Run that was kind of hearsay that I thought was true, and I think we kind of tested it and learned things like the Charger. I uh, assumed that the Charger could do stuff like uh, hit through different opponents. Same with the Blaster. I thought you could blast the Drizzler's shield to make it flip over, but you really do have to just wait until it launches its uh, Ink Storm, and then you go in and... Jeez, uh, oh, thought I had him there. Then you go in and take him out, you know, or, or launch the, the Ink Storm back at him. So yeah, the Blaster and Charger can't can't flip him over that way. And also, I thought the Charger, with being being able to penetrate stuff, would uh, would be able to actually... Ooh, that fell out. Oh, no. Uh, would actually be able to do a, uh, a hit through the scrappers and hit behind it, but that's not true either, I guess, because the, the way you can tell, if you look for the power eggs, you can tell when they fly out that you've landed a successful attack. This is really dicey here. It's close range. I cannot do as much. Okay, let's see if I can get the steel eel out of here at least. It's coming around the side. Get him, get him, get him. Okay, we're good. Oh, no. Man. Okay, now we got another one to deal with, though. I'll get this one if I can. Things are getting a little intense here. Steel Eels might take that out. Ooh, man, I, I divided between the Drizzler and the Steel Eel, and that was not a good idea because I didn't get either of them. All right, let's back it up a little and try to make sure we are staying alive is the priority here. Eggs always are secondary to making sure your team doesn't all die. Okay, we're good. A lot of annoying uh, boss salmonids there to deal with. And charging up that splatling leads to some dicey situations. Okay, back with the Dapple Dooleys. This is good training. I'm going to unlock these quite a bit later in levels, but now I get to try them out a little bit. Preliminary. Honestly, I think if I'm going to go with a close range one, I'd probably just stick with the normal splat Dooleys. The Dooley Squelchers, I think, are my favorites so far. And we got some rumors about maybe there's other Dooleys on the way that are going to be... A uh, different style, but I'll leave that there. Okay, let's see if we can move in well enough to help out with the fly fish. Oh man, uh, run out of ink. I'm throwing the one bomb, and then anyway, we can take him out that way. And then careful with the elevator, buddy. Okay, we're good. Hey, did he get? The <laughs> I couldn't tell if that was the guy that was right next to me because he got splatted almost like immediately after I looked away from him. Hey. Take that. We gotta be quick here, because I'm noticing, yeah, we are not getting the amount of eggs that we need for this to be a successful run. So I can get in and take this out, take this out. These little guys are not spared either. My big worry is that, yeah, that stingray is really giving us problems. Okay, just gotta get all these eggs back. Can't, can't be, uh, playing around with them. Oh no! Ah! Ah! This is bad. I never, whenever I, I get knocked out, I'm uh, very weary of uh, whether or not we're going to be able to actually do it. Uh, help me, buddy. Mr. Bucket! Get those eggs in the basket. Mr. Bucket, don't die. We need the eggs. Help me. And he, he jumped off. Where is he? Where did Mr. Bucket go? Oh, my gosh. Ah, uh, we have no time here. i got to get this back, but that's not going to matter. We have no eggs. Oh, if they get in. If they get in there. Come on, buddy! No! Ah, <laughs> uh, we had three. I, don't, I couldn't remember if we had, yeah. Oh, we were one away. I had spent so much time knocked out. That one death when I got hung up, I think, was the end of us, unfortunately. Still did well. You don't actually drop down in pay grade at all if you wipe on the third wave. Mr. Grizz is, yeah, see, we retained our pay grade. Mr. Grizz is pretty lenient on that. He doesn't punish you when you're right at the edge of victory. All right, I got a better feeling about this one. We have Dumple in here. Great name there. <laughs> Dumple's joining the work crew. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I think all the weapons in this set are ones that I, you know, feel like I can do okay with, but are not the ones that I would prefer to use if I had a choice between, you know, it's like the one, the variation of all of them that are kind of the, uh, the unorthodox thing, except for the Except for the heavy splatling, that's just a weapon that I don't tend to play all that often, but I do enjoy. Alright, what do we got? It's Maws. If you can't see it, it's probably Maws. It's going after him. Got you, buddy. We're good. Okay. This is the, the first wave when it's very easy to just get a ton of eggs back to the basket and have a nice leisurely ramp up of your, uh, 
boss salmonids. Hey, get out of there. Hope they're doing okay with that steel eel. They're all... Okay. <laughs> Not a good sign when it takes quite a while to take it down. All right. And then we'll get on that last one. Sorry, Mr. Inkjet. I know you took it out, but I'll take it back. Doesn't matter who gets it. As long as it counts. And, oh, man. Yeah, when the, the stingers tend to... I think they are programmed to go, like, opposite side of the map sometimes, wherever. If you're all clumped up, then it's like, okay, send in the stingers. It feels like there is some type of, uh, some type of coordination among the salmonids where they have this strategy. I'd like to think there's, yeah, there's one leader salmonid like DJ Octavio or Captain Cuttlefish who is just, like, planning stuff out on the sidelines. Oh, no. Not good. That Moz is, uh, gonna be rough. We shouldn't be worried too much about the ones down on the beach because if we don't take these guys out, then that is the end of it. Here we go. Oh, fast enough. Okay, good. You still have to time that. It doesn't just take him out. You have to time it for when he's getting that stink sack going. And we're doing fine here. Probably not enough time to grab this and get back up there with the elevator the way it is, but that's fine. I did, yeah, of the set, I think I do like the Dapple Dooleys a little bit more. Yeah, look at pretty quick, but... <laughs> The mobility, I think, is referring to uh, run speed, though. They might have a bit more of a uh, maneuverability that way. Okay. Also, you can you can learn a lot about a crew and w by whether or not they pay attention to the tide markings, that overlay that I've mentioned a few times here. And it doesn't seem like they know that we are on low tide, since I'm the only one over here. <laughs> not a good sign, but we got time. They'll, uh, they'll get back in here and hopefully help me out. There we go. We got them. Okay, this is a bad place to be when the steely old rears its steely head. They might have actually just been a little slower because they were taking out that drizzler. Not fast enough to get the, the ink cloud out of there, but you can't ask for the world. No. <laughs> Alright, let's get this guy. Let's get him out of here. I, I don't know if I... I guess it's better than being a lowly chum, but if I was going to pick a boss salmon to control, I don't think the scrapper is the one that I would go with, honestly, because the Feels like one of the easier ones to take out. Oh, let's be careful now. Play a little dodge roll, even without the dualies. <laughs> Just weaving in and out of that that stingray. Got another one here. I almost ran. I have a bad habit of going right into the maws of a steel eel, not not a maws. Hopefully we're doing. Yeah, we're already sitting pretty here. That's one thing about low tide. It does feel like tend to get enough eggs close enough to the basket where there's not a whole... You don't spend a lot of downtime trekking back, luckily. And I'm just going to completely avoid that fly fish, because I don't think we're getting over there in time. Maybe I'll sneak up on it, see if we can do something, but we're not going to have time to get the eggs back anyway. Oh, man. A little short. <laughs> Throw some ink at him. It doesn't do any damage, but it'll make him mad. <laughs> no. So yeah, the, the fly fish, I know they're the one... If they're the tri slosher of the boss salmon in and that they annoy the most players right now and you have to go up against it. Uh, but the the whole thing that yeah, if you if you get the stingray, it's weird how I think the stingray special is one that most people don't really like in multiplayer, but is one of the most useful in this mode because you can take out fly fish without throwing the bombs in. You can uh, you can do a lot with it. You can revive your buddies from across the map, take out other stingrays, even take down the mothership without it. Uh, you know, even getting close enough to, to try to steal your eggs from the basket. So, as a uh, a tough wave, the mothership being able to uh, get get kind of fended off by by the stingray is a nice nice function of that weapon. You turn around to me, but that means my friends that are hopefully coming back will. Take him out. Okay, you guys deal with that. I gotta get this egg back here. <laughs> Oop. Okay. Thought I was being followed. <laughs> A paranoid splat bomb throw. Right, I gotta get in there because I am the guy to take this thing out. Oh, so close. Watch my back and get a charge ready. It's almost good. There we go, yeah. I'm glad that they retain damage because otherwise I think it would be so tough to deal with those steelheads if you had to do enough damage each time quick enough to uh, take them out. That would not be fun. All right. Well, we need two more eggs. I hope I can get one here and that someone else has one. Come on, guys. There's another down there. Get out of my way. <laughs> my coworker was blocking my shots there. 
It's a little rough when I only have so many. In the barrel, go, go, go. Oh no, can I get back in time? Because otherwise this is really, really bad. No one's getting the eggs back, come on. No, 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 get it in, no, ah. Okay, got spared. <laughs> spared the uh, agonizing defeat. And we did it, I still had a splashdown ready to go. Okay, so let's go tally up the uh, the old cash. Let's see if I get a better headlamp helmet. Ink saver sub, I do enjoy that, but playing with uh, some of the weapons, like the Krakon that has the beacons. Ink saver sub, it'll help you a little bit there, but usually you're not too worried about getting your, you know, you're placing a beacon when you're isolated and safe. So I'd rather have a, uh, probably an ability on it that is more multi-purpose. I think we're gonna rank up here pretty soon, if things keep going that way, and this is a good time to uh, collect our rewards, because it's so tempting when you get, like, 50 or more towards the next <laughs> bonus to just go and try to, you know, keep it going. But, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut myself off here. That was a cool-looking squid kid with a hat. I had the, the nice cyan and the jacket that I like. <laughs> I should try to be like him. There we go. Okay, that'll buy a couple of splat bralas. And I'm gonna swap for cash, because I'm not a huge fan of special attack up. It usually just bo boosts the time you have for your special, so not gonna be that helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. There's a little picture of the Switch in a very blocky form. It's like the Game Boy version of the Switch. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Maybe subscribe if you haven't. Definitely check out the Splat Brella because that is uh, a very fun weapon to use and we'll have it in another episode. I'll see you then. Goodbye.